class leaders would plan out their sessions. So this helps us share new ideas and new information and helps us figure out what we're going to do for the whole class. So for a few days before each session, I would set a reminder on my phone so I could email the students to remind them of notes and to remind them of any questions they need to ask us because, as you know, first year is a busy time for everybody and it's very easy to forget. A session planning sheet can be really handy for helping you plan your session. Working on the planning sheet is a great opportunity to meet up with your past partner who you're working with to decide what's going to be covered in the past session, how you're going to approach it. We would contact our past champion to find out any new information or new topics that the students are covering during the week that they may forget to mention to us. By liaising with the course contact, you can find out what assessments are coming up to make the past sessions more relevant for students. Consider the following. What learning activities are you going to run? For example, a quiz, a lecture review, a Kahoot activity, peer learning game activity, an opportunity to practice presentation skills, or analysis of what is required for an assignment. Think about what small group learning technique are you going to use so that students share information with each other. Also, think about how you are going to get the groups to feedback the outcomes of their discussions to everybody else. When planning, you need to consider requests made by your past group regarding the topic or assignments they want to discuss, the learning activities and small group techniques you're going to use, the outline structure for the session, whether you require any information from a lecturer in advance of the session, and the layout of the room.